Welcome to ODOT's Backhoe Training. These videos are by no means a replacement for your manual. They are simply visual aids in addition to the manual. The backhoe is one of the most essential pieces of equipment at ODOT. From trenching and material handling to cleanup operations and snow removal, this versatile machine is an important part of your daily operations. We'll be covering the safety, maintenance, inspection, and operation of the Caterpillar backhoe. Before we focus on this piece of equipment, let's focus on you. Since 1937, ODOT has lost over 50 employees killed in the line of duty. That's why the department cannot stress enough how important it is to stay safe and alert. Safety starts with you. A good way to practice safe work procedures is by using the required PPE or personal protective equipment. This consists of, but is not limited to, an ODOT approved ANSI certified class 3 safety vest with sleeves, a highly reflective hat that is bright and clean, and a pair of sturdy gloves. Keep in mind that the gloves reduce the sensitivity of your hands, which may affect your ability to operate some backhoe controls. You may also need to wear eye and hearing protection if the job calls for them. Equally as important as wearing the proper safety gear is your individual awareness. Most backhoe operations require complete attention and both hands. Try to avoid talking to other people while you are operating the backhoe. If you do need to speak with someone, it is best to do so while the machine is idle. Any ODOT employee who is required to drive as part of their duties must possess a valid Oklahoma driver's license. Also, as a transportation equipment operator, you must possess a Class A CDL. Having a driver's license also comes with the responsibility of knowing when you shouldn't drive or operate heavy equipment. Be sure to notify your supervisor if things such as fatigue, a medical condition, or medication might prevent you from safely performing your job. For your personal safety, Oklahoma legislation prohibits a state employee from texting while driving a state vehicle or operating heavy equipment. Tobacco use and the use of e-cigarettes is prohibited on all state property. This includes the backhoe. Staying safe also means knowing your equipment. Be sure to read the operator's manual to familiarize yourself with the backhoe you'll be operating. Remember, always use three points of contact when entering or exiting the backhoe. Either two hands and one foot, or two feet and one hand should be used at all times to support your weight. Always wear your seat belt and obey all traffic laws and safety precautions. The backhoe is strictly a one-person machine. Never allow anyone to ride with you, either in the cab, loader bucket, dipper bucket, or sidestep. While the backhoe is one of the most versatile pieces of equipment you will use at ODOT, it is also potentially the most dangerous. Make certain you follow all safety requirements when operating your equipment. Let's begin by taking a look at the basic components that make up the backhoe. Beginning in the front, we have the loader bucket assembly. This is mainly used for moving stockpiled material but can also be used to clear snow and remove debris. The next component is the tractor. This contains the engine and operator cab and controls. The last component at the rear is the backhoe. Used for trenching operations, this consists of the boom, stick, and bucket. The stick may also be extendable depending on the backhoe model. Another important component is the stabilizer arms. These must be used at all times when you're trenching to stabilize the machine and prevent tipping. The backhoe is a complex piece of equipment and hand-eye coordination is a must. Be sure to use three points of contact when climbing into the cab. Facing the front of the backhoe while sitting in the operator's seat, you will see the center control console. Here, there are various switches and levers for machine control. The horn is operated via a button at the end of the transmission direction lever. 
always ensure that the horn is operational before using the machine. Below the console are the brake and accelerator pedals. To the left is the differential lock control foot switch and to the right is the transmission speed control. Press the neutralizer button on this to select the gear you want to use. It is possible to select four forward and four rearward travel gears. To the right of the speed control is the loader control and parking brake. Turn to your right. You'll see the side instrument cluster. Here you will find the starter key switch, tachometer, fuel level, diagnostic display, and engine coolant temperature. In addition, you will also see switches for rear work lights and the rear wiper. Below this cluster is the cab air recirculation filter. When the airflow is reduced, remove the filter and clean it with compressed air of no more than 30 PSI. The cab fresh air filter is located outside above the rear wheel and should be inspected and cleaned weekly as well, or more often in dusty conditions. The starter switch has three positions, off, on, and start. Rotate the seat around to access the backhoe and extendable stick controls. To your left is the boom lock lever for the backhoe apparatus, the levers to raise and lower the stabilizers, and the throttle control for backhoe operations. Before starting the engine, make sure you are fully aware of the location and function of each control. While this is the standard instrument cab and control layout for this backhoe, your machine may differ. Please consult the operator's manual for this specific backhoe you will be using.